Hey guys, it's Ross Scott on the Space Fire Today. When I was doing my usual Bromley things, I picked up some books. So first of all, from a charity shop in Bromley for one pound, Luke Skywalker can't read, <laughs> and other geek geeky truths by Ryan Britt. So I do like that, and that is just the back. So what it says. Pop culture and sci-fi guru Ryan Britt has never met a monster, alien, wizard or superhero that didn't need further analysis. Essayist Ryan Britt got a sex education from dirty pictures of dinosaurs, made out with Jar Jar Binks at midnight and figured out how to kick depression with a Doctor Who Netflix binge. Alter uh, alternating between personal anecdotes, hilarious insights and smart analysis. Luke, Luke Skywalker Can't Read contends that Barbarella is good for you, that monster movies are just romantic comedies with commitment issues, that Dracula and Sherlock Holmes are total hipsters, and, most shocking, that virtually everyone in the Star Wars universe is functionally illiterate. Romp through time and space from the circus sideshows of 100 years ago to the comic cons of today, from the darkest corners of the galaxy to the comfort of your couch. For anyone who pretended their flashlight was a lightsaber, stood in line for a movie at midnight, or dreamed they were abducted by aliens, or maybe were abducted by aliens, Luke Skywalker Can't Read is full of answers to questions you haven't thought to ask. So yes, this should be fun, and it's quite thin, so it shouldn't take too long to get through. So looking forward to that. Next, I picked up this, and this I got from Waterstones. Battlestar Suburbia. You can see why I got it. The title, it's got Battlestar in it. <laughs> and you can see like a robot. That's either a gun or it's a rocket. I'm not quite sure which. Cup of tea, a bucket and explosion. And then you just see on the back. So I'll read this out to you. <laughs> in space, no one can hear you clean. When Darren's charge cart gets lost in space, he thinks his day can't get any worse. When Kelly sees Darren accidentally end of life a talking lamppost and its camera captures her face as it expires, she thinks her day can't get any worse. When sentient bread maker Pam is sent on a secret mission into the internet and betrayed by her boss, a power crazed smartphone, she knows her day isn't going to get any better. Join Darren, Kelly and Pam in an anarchic comic adventure that takes them from the shining skyscrapers of Singulopolis to the sewers of the Doll Star Discovery and find out what happens when a person puts down their mop and bucket and says no. So yes, this should be a lot of fun. Quirky, which I like. So yes, looking forward to that. Now the last book that I picked up today, well, I also, I, by the way, I did order that other Mark Harder book, the... Um, Return of the Discontinued Man, or whatever it was called. So that I should be getting next weekend. Lastly for now is this, Spare and Found Parts. I like this design, it's like a circuit. And that's just the back cover, nothing much in there. But yes, got the red edging, which is always nice. So this is by Sarah Maria Griffin. A unique feminist coming-of-age novel, clever, beautifully written and compelling. I loved it. That's by Marianne Keyes, who's a very successful author herself. Now... We are all more than the sum of our parts. N Nell Crane has never held a boy's hand. In a city devastated by an epidemic, where survivors are all missing parts, an arm, a leg, an eye, Nell has always been an outsider. Her father is the famed scientist who created the biomechanical limbs that everyone now uses. But she's the only one with her machinery on the inside, her heart. Since the childhood operation, she has ticked like a clock, like a bomb. And as her community rebuilds, everyone is expected to contribute to the society's good. But how can Nell live up to her father's revolutionary ideas when she has none of her own? Then she finds a lost mannequin's hand while salvaging on the beach and inspiration strikes. Can Nell build her own companion in a world that fears advanced technology? The deeper she sinks into this plan, the more she learns about her city and her father, who is hiding secret experiments of, her, of his own. So, yes, lovely cover. That's on the side, a continuation. There's a red there, which I didn't notice on the front. So, very, very nice. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. 
So yes, those are the books I picked up today, which I'm very much looking forward to getting to, as well as the ones that I acquired yesterday. So I've got plenty of reading probably through to the end of the year into January. And um, obviously that includes the George R. R. Martin like this, which will take some time to get through. But there you go, guys. Those are just the books that I acquired today. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment or a suggestion for an upcoming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.